I routinely have clients and followers ask me how can they get their kids into lifting, into fitness, and doing these things. Uh, hey everybody, I thought I would chat with you guys and gals a little bit about this today. And and I think what this comes down to is, is understanding that anything that you do regarding exercise and fitness and getting your children into fitness needs to involve them wanting to do it, okay? So, so when we say that, it means you don't really need to encourage them per se. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give some basic advice here on how to get it to become something that's just part of their passions that they will stick to for life. Because if you try to kind of push it on them, guess what happens? They're gonna be resistant to it. It's gonna be something that just like just like people later who go, "Oh, I can't stand vegetables because my parents made me eat them as a kid," you know. And it's like that childish behavior sticks with them through adulthood, which is, is absolutely ludicrous. Like a grown man saying he can't eat vegetables. Wow. Right? It's like, what are you, five years old? All right. Now, that, that aside, so look at it from that perspective. It doesn't, didn't work out too well. Uh, it actually makes them hate vegetables. So a couple things I'm going to point out. Number one, if you want your kids to lift, they need to see you lifting. They need to see mom or dad partaking in a fitness lifestyle and observe it and just accept that it's something that you do, okay? They need to see it as normal. It needs to be just a normal part of your life. And sometimes if you're their really young mom and dad are interested in it, they'll, they'll display an interest, but they may not, okay? But that is how you plant the seeds, first of all. You, you just lead by example. That's it. Just make sure that they know you do it. Even if you do some of it at home, uh, you go to the gym, they need to just see that it's part of your lifestyle and that it's normal. And if they have questions about it, be ready to answer those questions. That's number one. Number two, sports. Because early on, kids don't need to be worried about lifting weights. Like quite frankly, uh, and I'm not saying a little younger can't be beneficial, like 12 or 13 can be beneficial for lifting weights. Uh, but usually uh, most of the people are going to start a little later. Uh, and it's not necessary. If they're, if they're below that, they're probably not going to benefit from it much anyway. They need to just be exercising and playing. And exercise needs to be played. So what I would recommend is get them interested in a sport. Okay, Show them a variety of sports. Expose them to sports. Let them see different sports. Take them to sporting events, different things. Uh, you know, show some some enthusiasm towards it and see what they gravitate towards. Okay, see if there is a sport that they gravitate towards. And then if they say, hey, I'm, I'm interested in doing this. You see where we're going. I'm interested in doing this. Encourage it. Cultivate it. Get behind it. Right. Be their number one cheerleader. And it doesn't matter what the sport is. I don't care if it's baseball, ping pong, synchronized swimming, basketball, skateboard, anything. As long as it's a physical sport of some type that gets them physically active. All right. Let them get into it. Encourage it. Show support towards it. Let them know that you think they're a superstar for doing it. Okay. Positive motivation. That will get them physically active. Okay, that will lay the foundation for them to be physically active for life. Any sport, and I literally do not care what it is. It doesn't matter what sport, as long as it's safe, reasonably safe. Uh, you know, and even then for, for boys, maybe it doesn't need to be, right? Football or whatever later. Um, but they get involved in a sport. Then they become physically active. As they start to get a little older, Maybe explain to them or show them that, you know what, most of the top people in your sport you do, they lift weights like mom or dad does. Show them that. Have them look into that and, and see some coaches and experts, find some stuff where they're saying, oh yeah, it makes our, our athlete better at the sport. It improves their sport. It makes them better at it. If they've been chasing this sport and they're passionate about it, then they might have a passion for lifting. Now, when guys get hurt in the football weight room and, and all that nonsense, they oftentimes don't carry on. But if they get some good coaching and good training, 
oftentimes it becomes a lifelong thing. So now that they're interested in a sport, they're interested in being physically active, they're probably healthier than the other kids now. Once they do that, then what do you do? Now that you they, they realize lifting might be good, just encourage it, explain it to them. And once they see that and, and make sure they understand it's beneficial, then tell them, hey, you can lift with me. I mean, it'll help you with your sport. It'll help you with your baseball or your ping pong, whatever. I don't care what it is. Whatever their sport. It'll help you with it. Well, why don't you come work out with me? I'll teach you how to do it. It'll be fun. Encourage it. Don't force it. Encourage it. And let them make the choice. And if they say no the first time, you tell them, okay, it'll make you better at your sport. But if you don't want to do it, you know, right now, that's okay. But when you change your mind, let me know. You know, bring it up again a month later. All right? Ask them also, any other, the other kids, you know, or, or, or any of them lifting weights who, who, you know, play your sport. Okay? See what I mean? Encourage that, that working out. Okay? Because if you can get it encouraged to where they accept it as beneficial in a normal part of their life before they're an adult... Once they're an adult, they're very likely to keep that habit of lifting, that habit of fitness, that habit of physical activity, okay? And you can do that purely by cultivating their passions. Like this, this is literally comes from the foundation of letting them see some different sports and then letting them kind of find one that they gravitate towards, letting them find one that looks fun, that they think they'll enjoy, they just show an interest in, okay? Because now it's not mom or dad saying, hey, just sport. No, they picked the sport. You didn't pick the sport. They picked it. And then you encouraged their choice, okay? Now they're like, okay, well, this is good. I got to pick what I think is fun and want to do. Mom or dad supported it. All right, I can, I can, this is cool. I can work with this. They're going to let me do it. They're, oh, wow, they're actually cheering for me. And then when they get really passionate and then it's like, oh, man, doing this other working out mom and dad do, and all, the best, all the best players, they're doing it too. Uh, you know, they did, uh, maybe I should go do this, okay? Then it becomes part of their passion, okay? It becomes part of something, just part of the training process or something they were already passionate about. The odds that they will then carry it on for life go up exponentially. Again, all because you allowed them to pursue things that looked interesting to them, that they got to choose. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.